Hey there internets, I'm Michael and today on To Can Play That Game we're going to play a game of Adrenaline by Czech Games Edition. And how's that different to everyone else's playthrough? Well, I'm going to be playing my favourite two player variant that I've come up with for the game. Also, if it's between the 1st of December and the 21st of December 2016, do be sure to click the link in the description to enter a giveaway for a chance to win this. two-player playthrough I'm gonna be Banshee the blue player and Rogue is gonna be Destructor the yellow player but to make this variant work we then add in two bots so we're gonna have Dozer and Sprog as bots and the way this works is that we use the bot rules which means using this bot card now, the bot rules are on the back page of the rule book here. So, if any doubts, you can check with those. But this works slightly different because that for adding a bot would be just adding one bot, but we're adding two. The way this is going to work is during your turn, and it's at any point on your turn, so there's strategic choice about when you choose to do this, you get a bot action. It means you pick either Dozer or Sprog, who are our bots to do this action with and the bot action is move and shoot and they do have to shoot so if there's a target they'll shoot that target be it the other bot be it yourself if you're the only target available otherwise if there are multiple targets you do get to pick the target also they'll get damaged and score the same as a player would and also when they reach the move and shoot damage part of their track they'll also get an improved ability they'll add a tag so you'll be putting their damage tokens on your board which won't score the bots will get no score you can choose to score them if you like but I prefer not to because frankly I don't like losing to a bot and so when you are calculating who gets what points, you will take into account the damage for the various people, including the bots. So it might be the bot would get the 8, so you ignore the 8 and the second person gets the 6, for example. The fact that you choose which bot to activate adds some nice strategic elements. The fact that you get to choose when you activate the bot also does because you can choose to move the bot into position to help you do other things or achieve other objectives that you're trying to do. So that's how it works in brief. Let's take it to the table and you can see how it actually works. So we're all set up, but the weapons we have available in the blue spawn point, we have the power glove, which allows you to move into adjacent space and deal one damage and two marks to the target or if you spend a blue ammo you can move one to do two damage to someone and then move again to do two damage to a second person the machine gun here allows you to do one damage to two different people you can see and if you spend a yellow cube you can do an additional point of damage to the red target and if you spend also a blue cube you can do an additional point of damage to the blue person and also target a third person then the tractor beam you pull someone two squares towards you and then you do them one damage or if you spend a red and yellow ammo you pull them into your square and do them free damage and in the yellow spawn point there is the chainsaw promotional card which if you enter the giveaway to win this which is running up until the 21st of december you'll not only get a copy of adrenaline you also get a copy of this promo card which allows you to attack someone in the same space and do them one point of damage or using one of each ammo do them three points of damage the important thing here there's no ammo cost to reload it's completely free then we have the furnace, which allows you to do everyone in a room that's not the room you're in, one damage, or everyone in an adjacent square, a damage and a mark. The railgun allows you to shoot in straight lines, 
and you can target one person doing free damage through one wall or you can target two people doing two damage to each of them going through any number of walls but they do have to be in a straight line and finally the red has the heat seeker you can't target someone you can see but the person you can't see you do free damage to sledgehammer someone in your same square takes two damage or if you spend a red ammo cube you do them free damage and push them two squares whisper you can't target your square or an adjacent square but anyone else that you can see will take free damage and a mark and rogue has been randomly selected as our first player and she starts by drawing two power-up cards and then choosing one to discard face up to be where she spawns. So she's going for the blue spawn point. And she's going to do move and grab, but she's not going to move. She's just going to grab. She is going to pick up the tractor beam, which has no cost because the only ammo for reloading is the one in brackets. So she's picked that weapon up. And then she's also going to do another move and grab, paying a red ammo cube in order to get the machine gun which requires a red ammo cube for her to pick it up. Reloading this will require blue and red. Now in future turns she would also do a bot action but as this is the first turn there are no bots yet on the table and she does not do a bot action. Once everyone's taken their first turn we will then spawn the bots and from then on people will have their bot actions. So it would now be reload phase for Destructor Rogue here, but uh, she hasn't actually got any weapons to reload, all of hers are loaded. So we move on to the tidy up. So we put out two new weapons, and we have the shotgun, which uh, does free damage to someone in the same square and pushes them back, or two damage to someone in an adjacent square and uses yellow ammo and grenade launcher so this will do one damage to someone you can see and push them back or if you spend a red ammo as well you can do one damage to everyone in a square that you can see and then it's over to me and my two power up cards we've got a blue teleporter or a red tag back grenade now i really loathe to uh, throw away a teleporter that can be so useful so i'm going to get rid of the tag back grenade here and spawn in red then do grab stuff spending a blue and a yellow in order to pick up whisper so i'm then actually going to do a shoot action so i will shoot with Whisper. So I need to be able to see the target and not be my square or adjacent square. So I can see the blue room from my spot here because I'm at the doorway. I just poke my head in. Pew, pew, pew. Um, and then, so I do free damage and a tag to Rogue. First blood is mine. But uh, Rogue does now have the double move grab unlocked, unfortunately. But I've got a tag waiting for her. Now, it would be reload time, but uh, I don't have two blue and a yellow to reload. So this will just sit down unusable in front of me. And we then refresh the board. And the new weapon out is a lock rifle. So someone you can see takes two damage and a tag, and if you spend a red, you do a tag to an additional target. And now we spawn our bots, so random power-up card will tell us where they go. So we will start with Sprog, and Sprog is going blue. And then Dozer is appearing in red. So nothing so far for yellow and we're all very much a grouped around then it is rogues go with destructor once again but this time she gets a bot action 
Um, Rogue is going to start by doing a double move and a grab. So she gets blue and red ammo. And also a power up card. She will then do a shoot and she's going to use machine gun. And she will pay a blue and yellow cube to do the additional bits. So her red target is going to be me in blue. The blue target is going to be... Let's make it dozer. And then the green target can be the green person, Sprog. Rogue is dealing damage all across the board and getting a lot of first blood. So she's done two to me. She did two to Dozer and then one to Sprog here. So that's three first blood she just got. But she doesn't get the points yet. She'll only get them when the board score. Her bot action, Sprog is then going to dive through this doorway and shoot back the way he came, shooting Rogue. Giving Destructor a green point of damage on his track. And Rogue's then going to reload her machine gun here, costing her a blue and a red, which is all of her ammo. But she now has it available to use. So my turn's going to be pretty dull, really, because I'm going to run over here and grab some stuff, which is red and yellow ammo. And a power-up card, which we have. Attack back grenade. And then I'm going to run here and grab some stuff. So I get two blue and a yellow. So I've now got two of everything. And then my bot action, I think I will have Dozer here go rah, and shoot Destructor. So Dozer just gives Destructor another point of damage there. And then reloading. I now have the ammo to reload Whisper. So I'll do that for two blue and a yellow. And refresh. So we got an ammo drop there and an ammo drop there gone. Rogue has her double move and grab unlocked. So Destructor's going to go move, move, grab. And get a blue and yellow ammo. And get her another power up. And then she's going to use her bot action on Dozer here. So he's going to move, slide into this room, and shoot Destructor. Which means Rogue can now use move and shoot. So she might as well do that with her second action. Moving into my square here. Get up away. And that just means that it will be harder for me to then use Whisper on her. She will then shoot with Machine Gun again. So, again, she's going to spend the blue and yellow to do additional targets. And she can see every single person. So, I think she's going to distribute the damage... The same way she did last time. So, two on me, meaning I've finally got my double move grab. Two on Dozer. He would get double move grab except for his bot, so he doesn't. He doesn't get anything new until he gets into the move shoot. And then one on Sprog. Then it's reload, but she has no ammo. However, she does have power up cards. In fact, she has three. So she's going to discard a blue and red power up card as a blue and red ammo to reload her machine gun. I'll then do a mad dash this way, running away from Destructor to this spawn point here and picking up the Heat Seeker. So this is going to cost me a red and a yellow ammo. And that was a double move because I am that far along now. Then my second action, I think I'm going to have Banshee run away some more. I think that makes sense. So Banshee is going to go one and grab 
this ammo here. So we've got a red and a yellow replacing what I just spent and a power up which is a yellow teleporter. Then the bot, hmm, which bot to use? Well, I think we'll have Sprog go, boom, hello, and shoot Destructor. So that's a second green damage on Destructor. And then refilling, we get Shockwave. So this damages adjacent people. Then Rogue is gonna do a move and grab, getting two yellow and a blue onto her ammo and then she'll do a move and shoot and she'll move there and use once again her machine gun and she will pay the yellow and blue cube so she's doing the exact same damage again and I don't see why we'll change who gets what so Dozer is now going to be marking with a tag when he attacks and I now have move and shoot open then Sproggle run in and join the fray here and push his way past to shoot Banshee which is the first damage from anyone other than Rogue and then it's Rogue's reload but she doesn't have the red and blue to do the reload unfortunately and I'm feeling kind of left out, so I'm going to charge in here doing a grab action, and I'm going to grab me the sledgehammer, which is free to pick up. And I'm then going to do a shoot action using the sledgehammer and spending the red cube to do the bottom effect of free damage to one target, which will go on to Rogue's Destructor. So one, two, three, and then not quite dead except for... This mark I did earlier comes down, meaning Destructor is dead. And pushing two squares. And then I need to resolve the bot action. And I'm going to have Dozer go one to there and then shoot Sprog in the back. So because Dozer's into the move and shoot, he does a damage and also marks with a tag. So we put damage up and a tag up on Sprock. Then my reload, I will pay the yellow to reload my sledgehammer. And replacing the sledgehammer on our red spawn point is the Hellion. So this allows you to do damage to everyone in the same square that's not your square or to do damage and two tags so damage and a tag or damage and two tags then resolving the death we bring destructor off the board and we distribute points so blue has majority so we'll get eight points plus blue has first blood so gets nine the grey and green players would get points if they were players, but because they're bots, they don't get anything. So that's the only points awarded here. The kill shot then goes to the kill track, replacing the leftmost skull, which has up the eight points and all the damage tokens get returned to their respective players. Then respawns, drawing a new power-up card and choosing one to discard. And she'll discard this red targeting scope so that she can come in where everyone is. Then it's her go. So her first action is gonna be to deny me the kill shot by having Dozer, move one to there and shoot her, which will do the first blood on her and also give her a mark. Then we'll do a move and grab to get two blue and a red ammo, followed by a move and grab to here to get some more ammo, I think. So we get a red and a blue and a power-up card. We refresh the ammo 
and she gets to reload. So she'll reload her machine gun, costing a blue and a red. And it's back to me. And we'll start with a bot action, having Sprog move one and shoot Destructor. Then I'll do a move and shoot, diving back through this doorway and using Whisper. So it's not my square and adjacent square, and I can see Sprog. So I'm going to do Sprog, free damage, and a target. And then I think I'm going to do another move and shoot. So moving one to there, which means I can't actually see anyone. But that's good, because I'm going to use Heat Seeker, and I need to not be able to see them. And I'm going to target Sprog doing another three points of damage. So I do three points of damage and my tag comes down, meaning we have a kill shot. And that's the end of my turn because I'm not reloading anything. So we'll score up the board. So Sprog comes off. Rogue will get one for first blood and she has the second most, so she gets six, that's seven in total. And I'll get eight points for having the most and we then remove all of these damage except for this one which will swap places with a skull and the tag from the grey player does stay in this mark box here then respawning we simply draw a new power-up card and we place Sprog in red and then Rogue with the newly resurrected Destructor here is gonna start by machine gunning because she loves the machine gun and she'll use the extra ammo to do the extra damage and again she's gonna do two on me two on Dozer and the one to Sprog so that she'll get the first blood on there. Then we'll have Sprog as the bot action move in here and shoot Banshee, which means I'm one off of dead. Then a final action, she will do a shoot with the tractor beam. So moving Banshee two spaces, one two and dealing one damage enough to get the kill shot and all that's left to do is for rogue to reload so she's not going to reload the tractor beam but she will reload her machine gun for a red and a blue then score i get nothing surprisingly for me dying and that means that Rogue will get 9 because she got the first blood. We then remove all the damage swap in this one on the kill track for a skull and then we draw a power up card to spawn. So we've got a blue. So we already had three here, we've got three blues and a yellow. Now the yellow teleporter seems too useful to give up really, so I think what we will do is we'll give up the tag back. So we'll spawn in blue. My go, and as I'm newly respawned, really I'll start by having Dozer here jump through this doorway and shoot me, denying rogue the first blood and it will also give me a mark because he is at that stage then my actions well i think i am actually going to start by playing a power up i'm gonna play this uh, teleporter to teleport over here then I will grab stuff, because you always need stuff, so two blue and a yellow. 
and then I'll shoot and I'll target dozer and I'll use a red ammo so I'm doing the full blow on that so free damage one two three means I get the kill shot and it will push him two one two and it will kill him but first reloading and I'm gonna reload whisper for two blue and a yellow as I just picked those up I figure that makes some good sense there and I'm also gonna get rid of this yellow power up to reload the sledgehammer that costs yellow so scoring up here well I definitely don't have the majority Rogue has that, so she also has first blood, so she'll be getting nine, and I'll get six, and then returning damage. What I do get is, of course, the spot on the kill track replacing the skull. Dozer will then come back in yellow, and Rogue, I think she's going to have some action going on over here in the yellow section. First time all game we've had anything happen here. And it's going to be the newly resurrected Dozer charging forward. And then the only thing he can see to shoot is actually herself. So he'll do that. So one damage and the mark moves down. And the double move and grab is now open. Then with everyone in line of sight, there's only one thing for it. It's time for another machine gun. And she doesn't actually have the ammo to do the blue and yellow, but she's going to discard cards in order to cover it. As has become standard, we've got two damage on me, which opens up my double move and grab. Two damage on Dozer and one on Sprog. Then the final action will be a move and grab. Getting a red and a blue. And a power up card then she'll reload the machine gun with a blue and a red i will then hit sprog with a sledgehammer i'm just going to do the basic for two damage one two and then i'll have sprog move and shoot destructor and one and then i'll do a grab getting two red ammo and a power up card which is a red teleporter not what i wanted as i have no yellow to reload with so we refresh here rogue will have destructor go move and grab getting two red and a blue ammo and then we'll shoot with the machine gun but not using the extra bits so just targeting two people for one damage each which will be dozer and sprog so one apiece the bot action will then be dozer moving one to here and shooting destructor so unlocking move and shoot then reloading we got a red and a blue and yep so a red and a blue to reload the machine gun I'll then have Banshee do a move move grab and she's gonna grab the grenade launcher here which is free to pick up but it does mean I have to get rid of a weapon so I'm gonna get rid of the sledgehammer so that replaces the grenade launcher on the blue spawn point I am then going to use a Newton so there we go Newton move someone two spaces and I'm going to move Sprog one two so that they're all in the same square here and then my attack is going to be the grenade launcher spending a red to do the bottom effect doing one damage to everyone in a square so one on destructor and one apiece on Sprog and Dozer. My bot action will then be to have Dozer move one to here and shoot me in the face. And one more will bring 
the target down as well. So Destructor is going to move here and grab. And so it gets a power up card and a blue and yellow ammo. Then we'll do a move and shoot with, of course, the trusty machine gun using that blue and yellow ammo that Rogue just picked up in order to do maximum damage with it. So this time we're going to end up with two on Sprog, two on me, and one on Dozer. Then the bot action, Sprog is going to move in here and shoot Dozer, which will move Dozer to the next level. And Rogue would then reload, but doesn't have the ammo. So on my turn, I'm going to have Dozer here jump into this room and then shoot me. One there, not enough to kill me. I am then going to shoot with my grenade launcher, just using the basic ability targeting Destructor. So doing one damage and push him back a square. Another one. Then my second action is going to be another shoot. This time with Whisper. And again, targeting Destructor here. And we have three more. One, two, three. Which is enough for the kill. But first, I get to reload. So all my weapons are expended. But I'm going to use this card to reload the grenade launcher. Then scoring up. I don't get anything for first blood. But I do have the most damage. So I get six points, and this will swap with a skull. And respawning, Rogue draws the card, and then she discards this yellow tag back grenade to spawn in the yellow spot. As the final skull is now gone, we enter Frenzy. So we flip our actions, and any player boards that have no damage on them, so just rogues here also get flipped. So now she's no longer worth her first blood and her points are worth less. She does get to keep her ammo though. For her final turn, rogue is going to have Sprog jump into here and shoot Dozer. Sprog does one and a tag. And then with her action, she's going to go move, move, reload her machine gun using a red ammo and a blue card and then shoot her machine gun using the basic effect so she's going to target one to me and one to sprog my final turn dozer is going to jump in here and shoot me so just shy of killing me and then i am not going to do the moving or reloading i'm just going to shoot my grenade launcher at destructor so no first blood, despite being the first damage, unfortunately. That's the end of the game. So we score up each of the tracks. We'll start with Sprog here. I have three and Rogue has six. So Rogue also has first blood. So Rogue will get seven and I get four. And then Dozer here. Rogue has the most and the first blood, so she'll get seven. Sprog had the second most and me the third, so I only get two. Then for my board, let's see, Dozer had five and Rogue had five. So they're drawn, but because Dozer did the damage first, he wins. So Rogue just gets four points. And then Rogue's board's nice and simple. I get two points for having the most. And finally, for the kill track here, I have the most, so I get eight, and Rogue will get six. Which means our end scores are Rogue has 33 points, and I have 43. So I have one. And that is my favourite two-player variant of Adrenaline by Czech Games Edition. Do you hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful? And of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. And do also take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.